Goodwill brings to you the share market update dated the 29th of March 2023. For the development in the corporate segment, we have Leading energy sector players like Reliance, Tata Power Solar, and JSW Energy have been allotted sums in different categories in the second tranche of the solar PLI. Production-linked incentive, scheme totaling 13,937 rupees crore. The highest amount, 3,300 rupees crore, has gone to Indosol Solar, a special-purpose vehicle of Sherdi Sai, which was one of the winners in the first tranche of solar PLI also. Reliance Industries Limited, which has got 3,098 rupees crore. NHPC Board has approved the proposal for raising of debt up to 5,600 rupees crore in the financial year 20, 23 to 24, through issuance of secured, unsecured, redeemable, taxable, non-cumulative non-convertible corporate bonds in one or more series of tranches. PNB Housing Finance Board has approved rights issue worth 2,494 rupees crore. The company plans to issue 90.68 million fully paid up equity shares each for 275 rupees. The company has set Wednesday, April 5, 2023 as the record date for determining the eligibility of shareholders for participation in the rights issue. Subscription for the rights issue will be open from April 13 to April 27, 2023. Tube Investment of India subsidiary TI Clean Mobility has received an investment of 266.67 rupees crore from Multiples Private Equity Fund LLL and 133.33 rupees crore from State Bank of Lundaya. The stainless steel major Jindal Stainless and New Yaking PTE, which is part of Eternal Tsingshan Singapore, have signed an agreement to set up a nickel pig iron smelter in Indonesia. Jindal Stainless will invest 1,200 rupees, 1,300 crore, giving it a 49% stake in the joint venture company while the balance would be with New Yaking. The board of Vedanta Limited has announced the payment of the fifth interim dividend for this year. The board of the billionaire Anil Ugawal led company, after a meeting on March 28th evening, said it will pay a dividend of 20.50 rupees per equity share, amounting to a total of 7,621 rupees crore. It said in an exchange filing that the board has approved the fifth interim dividend of 20.50 rupees per equity share, which is 20-50% on the face value of 1 rupee per share for the financial year 202223 amounting to 7,621 rupees crore. Asian Hotels on daily time frame is trading around 103 points with a change of 19.99%, and is currently trading with a net volume of 288,000 shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 76.35 shares which is a good indication for the stock. While the share price is trading with a relative strength index of 82.22. An RSI of above 50 indicates that the stock is in overbought region. Hov Services on daily time frame is trading around 40.4 points with a change of 14.61%, and is currently trading with a net volume of 356,000 shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 36.2. While the share price is trading with a relative strength index of 51.99. You can contact us from the details mentioned on the screen via a call, WhatsApp or email. Please do like, share, and subscribe the channel to know the latest updates in the market. Thank you.